it was unproper, it was not right, it was disrespect. We were just worried because we didn't know, you know, who our children was going to be in around, around. And we were just concerned about the safety of our children. They brought like 50 people. Later on that night, they brought more people in there. You know what I'm saying? Like she said, that's a public school. You got to let kids go to school. Alex Salavoie for Ribbon News, currently in Corny Island. And I'm just in front of a public school where we heard that this school was housing migrants not a long time ago. City Council member Justin Brandon says using schools to house hundreds of migrants simply doesn't make sense. At least 75 adult migrant men are housed in the detached gym at PS 188 in Coney Island. I don't know anyone that thinks using schools as shelters is a good idea. So for the people who are not aware right now in the U.S. and especially in New York State, there is a huge migrant crisis. So recently, on May 11, Joe Biden did remove Title 42, the main tool for the authority to do the deportation of the migrant who tried to enter illegally into the country. Is the United States ready for the surge of people that's going to come across the border starting later this week? I spent uh, about close to an hour with, uh, with the Mexican president today. Uh, we're doing all we can, but it remains to be seen. It's going to be chaotic for a while. As I just told you, this school was housing migrants without the parents knowing about it. And this school is a public school, so it's subsidized by taxpayer money. But we did talk with some citizens and we have an interview with mom of a children that go to that school and another member of the community. Before hearing what they have to say about this whole crazy story, please go over migrantreports.com. Please donate generously to offset our travel expense because it's not cheap to come here in New York and travel around. Let's hear what they have to say. Well, one night we just saw them bringing in a bunch of buses. Um, it was a bunch of police, and then they waited till people who went to sleep. They snuck them in about maybe five o'clock in the morning, maybe three in the morning. Um, once we found out about it, my, because my son goes to the school, you know, I was just concerned for the safety of my son because we don't know if you know if these people are vaccinated. I don't mean to say it like that vaccinated we don't know if you know if they come with any type of diseases we were just worried because we didn't know you know who our children was going to be in around, around and we were just concerned about the safety of our children well first of all it shouldn't have, it shouldn't have never allowed to be there second of all they should have had a meeting with the neighborhood the people live here and let us know what's going on. Like she said, we don't know who they're bringing there. We don't know who the people is here. You understand? We protested. Um, a bunch of mothers and everyone got together and we protest. And um, it was so much that, you know, we, we understand what our mayor is trying to do, you know, but we felt like as a community, we should have been more involved and we should have been notified. They brought like 50 people. Later on that night, they brought more people in there. You know what I'm saying? Like she said, that's a public school. You got to let kids go to school. And, and, and it's wrong for you to bring people like that into the school with these kids. We're just concerned they might come with diseases, they might be criminals. We're just concerned about a lot of things. That was, that was it. They were drinking beer, smoking weed, and all that. You know what I'm saying? Sitting out here, sitting over there. You know what I'm saying? It was unproper. It was not right. It was disrespect. They were in the I'll say about a week, and um, they were they were just gone overnight. You know, I just, I feel bad for them because I'm a mom. I would want, you know, I wouldn't want to be homeless. I would, if I need help, I would want somebody to help me. But it's just what you do. And you got to clean out your own backyard before you clean somebody else's backyard up? Yes, it is getting way worse. Yes, it is. It, it, it's going to get worse because we're helping and we, we need help ourselves. You got, you got a hundred, you got a thousand people in, in the shelters right now, in the shelter system that's not being helped, but yeah, they're helping them. So, you know, it's just, uh, it's just. It's just a kind of mixy, flicky, because it's like, okay, we helping others, but we can't even help our own. But I blame the politician, because the politician brought them here, then they say a word, then they tell us nothing, and, and, and it's wrong for you to bring people like that into the school with these kids. 
So we want to show you the truth and what is happening because no mainstream media is really reporting on the migrant crisis. We want you to know the story. So if you want to help us, go over migrantreport.com. On this website, not only you can see our report, but you can donate generously because we need you to help us to continue our journalism and to offset our travel expense. Thanks.